Hello everybody, this is Magic People. Oh man, you know, I really wish I could do uh, consistent accents. They're really fun. I mean, not to be offensive, but they're just so entertaining. And let's be honest, girls love a guy with an accent. I guess it really depends on which country you're in. So if I went, went overseas or went to like anywhere else, basically, I'd be I'd be the guy with the accent. But anyways, uh, see on the screen here, there's a, there's a box with a person talking. That's, that's my vlog from today, where I tell you how to diffuse an argument 99% of the time, or your money back, guaranteed. But uh, no, seriously, so if you're really bored, go check it out. I talk about some stuff. It's, uh, I don't know, it's not, it's probably better, a better vlog compared to late. But let's get into a video. So let me just hit play here so I can watch with you guys. Uh, it was, uh, it was a recent comment where I was kind of talking about stuff, and someone suggested that I should use the gun, uh, what's it called, the PP90M1. That's it, there we go. So the uh, PP90M1, and uh, you can see here I just chose it as a class. People said it's a really good gun to use, and I've been seeing gameplay after gameplay with people using this gun, and I'm wondering, is this the new AK-47U, or whatever it's called, AK-74U, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. The overpowered submachine gun that everyone uses because it's good, but then everyone starts to hate, and that's something that I kind of think about. First blood, booyah. Something I kind of think about because people on YouTube are very critical of uh, you know using cheap guns and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know. I'll be honest. I I originally never used this gun the first time I picked it up because I think it looks really stupid. Let's uh, let's pause the video for a second, or I don't know. Maybe I'll just let it play. With it either way, um, take a look at it. Look at what you reload. It's like a canister. To me, this looks very much like a Q loader that people use paintballing. It's a if you don't know what that is, a Q loader is kind of like a special mod people put on their paintball guns. And uh, it keeps the hopper off the top of the gun. And uh, basically that allows for people to have an unobstructed uh, field of view down the, the sight lines of their gun. Kind of trying to make it as real as possible. I mean, now they have MAGFET paintball guns, but that's, that's a whole other thing. Um, yeah, sorry for the quick audio change there. Uh, so for some reason, the mic recording cut out. And I didn't really notice until uh, editing this game. So here we are. Let's pick things back up again. I'm going to more or less talk about all the same things. But uh, yeah, so I think the gun looks kind of weird and don't really use it because of that. This is the first game where I did use it. And you might think, okay, well, that doesn't make sense. He just described how he didn't like it the first time he picked it up, yada, yada. I used it the first time in the campaign, and that's when I made these observations. I was kind of just like, this is a really funky looking gun. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, let me tell you guys a little bit about this game. So some, like I said, someone in the comments suggested it. I thought I'd give it a shot. First game I used it. I went 23-4. and four, And uh, I mean, that's not crazy good, but it's a respectable score. Like, that's... Pretty good. Not amazing, but fairly decent. I'm using the uh, Specialist, uh, what is it called, Loadout? And I really, really, really like Specialist. I might do a commentary specifically on that, because you get crazy points. You know, two kills is another perk, four kills is another perk, six kills is a third extra perk. If you get eight kills, you get all the perks. Shooting down UAVs and stuff like that do contribute to uh, your kill streak and assists, I believe, count the same way as well. I believe the same as capturing objectives. So. It's really easy to get your bonus perks, and when you have all those extra perks, you are a lethal machine. You get so many points, and uh, I believe, uh, yes, it was in this game. I think it's actually coming up pretty soon. Um, uh, right actually after this, maybe. But uh, I got a knife kill once I was at the uh, full eight thing. You get special bonuses for the kills you receive once you have unlocked uh, the eighth kill streak, so to speak. And it was 700 points for one knife kill in the back once I got to that level. like That's that's incredible. Think about how fast you can rank up points. I think the only other way that would probably be faster is playing with the support loadout and having like the, the three lowest three lowest ones. Because I, if I do understand correctly, they would stack. And because they don't disappear when you die, they, they would happen uh, pretty quick. And you you know throw up a lot of UAVs, throw up a lot of uh, you know decoy care packages. Or is that assault? I don't, don't, can't quite remember. But point is you get lots and lots of points. Now, let's talk about this gun. You know, I don't really find this gun uh, to be particularly amazing. I mean, the reason why I'm asking if it's going to be the next overpowered gun is simply because everyone's using it. When I used it, it was good. It had a good rate of fire. It felt pretty easy to aim. I was using steady aim, so I, I don't really know if uh, if that played a huge role or not. But, you know, it seemed to work well at close range, possibly for that reason. But it didn't seem to me to be anything exceptional. I mean, I'll be honest, when I first started playing Black Ops, I didn't really find the FAMAS anything exceptional exceptional, blah, 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 exceptional, or, uh, you know, above the rest of the guns until I threw the silencer on there, and I could just, I could snipe, basically, with the FAMAS or the silencer back in the day. And as we all know, that was one of the overpowered guns. So simply because everyone else likes it so much, I'm wondering if, uh, 
if this is the next FAMAS slash AK-74U. Um, obviously, being my first game, I uh, I did not have you know kick proficiency, which you do get pretty quick. I also did not have a sight, so I can imagine this gun being a lot more uh, a lot more beneficial, a lot easier to use with those two things. Because I have to admit, my biggest criticism was probably uh, you know the the amount of kick. I found it really hard to aim at further distances, and I guess it's probably similar for everybody. But uh, that's what I experienced. Now, uh, you just saw I died from getting kind of no-scoped there, and I died again real quick, but I had a pretty good streak at the beginning of this game. It was a little bit slow, because I simply just couldn't find people, which is kind of just by fluke, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty good, like I said already, 23-4. and four. Um, I don't know, it's uh, pretty decent overall. What else is there to talk about? Um, that was the primary point, just kind of see what your guys' opinions were. I thought because someone had suggested it, I would uh, give it a shot. Give it my two cents, give it my opinion, and see what's going on. Uh, the next thing I think I can mention, simply because I've kind of gone through the topic, is uh, you know, I'm still doing Movember, and um, basically, for those of you who aren't aware, Movember is like raising money for prostate cancer awareness and men's health in general and stuff like that. People are growing mustaches to kind of like visually remind people and prove the point. Um, what I'm doing, simply put, is uh, collecting money, growing a mustache myself, not that I really can. Um, but... Uh, I have ads on my videos. If you click on the ads, it actually raises some decent cash. Uh, I'm at $33 from about 100 ad clicks and about 1,000 or so page views. So, you know, it, a click does make a difference. And all the money I raise in November, I'm putting towards uh, cancer research. So if you want to help me out, please be sure to, uh, you know, click on the ads once, twice, thrice, maybe even four times. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. Um this is the part of the commentary that I always find difficult as a, you know, your average commentator is if you don't have something to say, oh, here we go. 700 point specialist bonus. There we go. That was helpful. That killed some time. What I was getting at is that this part of the commentary is always difficult for commentators because if you run out, if you go through your topics faster than you have a gameplay, then it's kind of either start talking about nothing or you're either really creative and think on your feet or you do what I'm doing right now and talk about how you don't know what to say. <laughs> you know, and it, it does kill some time. It is something worth bringing up. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's, uh, let's just kind of cut it short. Perhaps I'll even fast forward the gameplay. I did get the game winning kill here, 23 and 4, playing with a gun that may be the next overpowered gun. Maybe this will be the first one to get nerfed. We will have to wait and see. But, uh, oh, actually, what was it? One more thing. I'll give you guys a tip while I'm, uh, still here. Um, I watched a White Boy 7th Street video today. I'm not, I honestly am not a huge fan of uh, of him as a commentator. I mean, you don't have to get into why. You can ask him in the comments and I can reply if you really want to. But uh, he gave a really good tip that seems pretty obvious. Most of you probably know, but to actually consciously think of it would probably help you because know, you do it more often on purpose. Um, you know, assists helping out your, your kill streaks and stuff. Uh, think about this. Playing a, an objective game type like Domination or so. Head towards B, throw a bunch of flashbangs, let your team do the dirty work of killing them and risking their lives, and you're already halfway there to another kill streak. It's very ingenious, very simple, and but probably very effective. Anyways, here we go. The actual end. No fast forwarding needed. I got all the BS topics out of the way after the main one. Anyways, guys, this has been Magic People, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody.